So you get an idea where I want to bring you. So this, I want to show you a nice render, some very nice renders. I, ju I just do it very quickly, so you get an impression. So I just scroll a bit faster to it. You don't see any contact shadows, no shadows. You know, something with the reflections. This looks a bit uh, flat. Uh, the, also this one. Yeah, uh, this uh, quite uh, this better because it uh, has some shadows, but still a bit flat. Yeah, we missed some specular reflections, some details. Um, this bit is strange. And this is very typical of what we see. So today I went to Instagram, I scroll a lot of uh, renders, and then I see something like that. So let's jump over to the very nice renders. So like this, this is where I want to bring you with this uh, short uh, free course, let's say, very short. This is also uh, very nice. Uh, the only thing I see is something uh, here. You should be a bit more shadow. And this is nice, but hard to judge what it is. Uh, I mean, choir reflections, also nice. And this is one of my favorite. I see clearly specular reflections, shadows, and it just looks very good. And this is also very nice. It's a bit uh, rough uh, material, but it looks all good. This one, this is also my favorite. So again, specular reflections here, uh, highlights here, shadows there. This is then low uh, geo, low poly, but it's a good render. This is uh, orthographic, no specular reflections, but yeah, we see uh, reliable uh, shadows like that. And this is stylistic, but very nice. Done. So my favorite, I want to bring you somewhere here and here with uh, EV lighting. I want to show you something else and that is when we go to Discord, the human generator is actually a very nice add-on. Um, but if you check out the renders, they look more like the first type of renders I showed you. Yeah, I think this one that is then made, someone has an environment to put a character on there and didn't do much uh, special with the lighting. Also this one, this is sure it's in not even HDRI or and it's done on EV. I think in a material preview. So you, you get something like that. See, this is a bit uh, better. We see uh, like a studio like that. And then let's go over here. This is why this is quite good. But I missed the specular reflections a bit dark. But it's nice, nice render. And over here, this is a nice render. Uh, I missed some specular reflections. And it is a bit diffuse over here in this, all this area. So, uh, yeah, and then I show you my own renders, what I did. For example, this one, yeah, I like uh, this specular reflection. And uh, there's a lot of going on with the shadows. You see uh, quite some details. The light is a bit strange and the teeth doesn't have subsurface scattering. And yeah, actually I made uh, lights in Eevee and I baked those lights to HDRI. Uh, so this is cycles, but it looks very similar in Eevee. This one, it looks a bit diffuse here. This uh, specular reflection is nice and uh, shadow is interesting. Uh, this one is a little bit too diffuse, but it uh, looks quite okay. And this one looks good. I don't like beards that much, but uh, looks okay. And not so much uh, specular reflections, but there is um, interesting uh, so softer shadow on that. Highlight, I call it. All right, so then I want to discuss in the next part something, two things to avoid. That's an important one. Uh, the reflection probe, uh, the irradiance probe, very important. Um, and then a holistic view, for example. Uh, you see this box over here. In the camera, you don't see any light. But if there was no material, no object, no material over here, you wouldn't see the light. So it is what, what we see usually in those uh, renders. It's an interaction with uh, light and material. And of course, also the camera and the render. The render settings and composition, etc. But it starts with an interaction with the light and the material. Then I want to show you something about the specularity. And this very important one. Uh, having some reference and albedo uh, values. Then about compositing, I see a lot of uh, mistakes with compositing because, uh, yeah, I will explain you later about that. All right, so jump to the next uh, video. So if it clicks, I don't know where. And then we talk about two things to avoid. All right.